previously. I'm Trev Gaming! Dark Magician meets Pendulum. Destroy all cards your opponent controls. I have made Dark Magician tier one. Destroy all cards your opponent controls. Utter Annihilation. Obliteration. These are some of the words that come to my mind when I think of what I do to Salamangre boards. And honestly, that doesn't even do it justice. What you're about to see is me and Farfa teaming up here. We team up. The big, bad, receding hairline brothers team up to absolutely destroy a five interruption Salamangre board with five monsters on board going second. And then we two hold this guy into oblivion. Sorry for ruining it. So enjoy this video as we take my Pendulum Orcas deck into the promised land on Farfa's stream and destroy Salaman Great Boards going second. Also, friendly reminder that the best way to break a Salaman Great Board is by purchasing a beautiful Triff Gaming playmat in the description below and absolutely take the mat and literally flip it on your opponent and destroy their board. Also, make sure to subscribe by clicking that red box below. I love you guys. You guys love me. Show your boy some love and hit that button. Let's go straight into the video. You're gonna love this. Stay tuned till the end. It's gonna blow your mind what me and Farfa do in this video. See you at the end of the video. Peace. This video is going to blow your mind. Stay tuned till the end. Wow. Wow. So this is gonna be me and Farfa teaming as one using my Pendulum Orcus deck and we're gonna destroy perhaps Salaman, uh, Salaman buy, Salaman shit, Salaman good, whatever you want to say. He opens broken. You're going to see now we're going second against your typical Salaman great boards, better than typical, and uh, win and break the board. Now, and win, if I didn't mention, and win, the most important part. Now, he goes, take this in, take this in. Let me tell you guys something. This guy has Baguska. Counter trap. He has two. He has Phantasme, so one hand trap, another hand trap, and Phantasme is gonna get him another hand trap. So he has three hand traps, a Baguska, and a Roar. Five, uh, five interruptions, three hand traps, a Baguska, and the counter trap. We're still gonna win. You think we care about five interruptions? You think five interruptions is enough to stop the best deck? What? I told you guys, this is why three is not enough by playing pendulums. If I played through three, if I played against three interruptions, I'm OTKing you into oblivion. We're dealing with five and stay tuned and see what happens. We're playing together on his stream and we're just play, uh, going through the motions here. We know there's a Baguska, so we gotta play this very smart. You gotta play through your interruptions uh, depending on what the interruptions are, very smartly. So, smartly, is that a word? Anyways, so here we go, playing and simple. We want to put as many monsters on board as possible and bait out his stuff. We're trying to get him to uh, use the counter trap. We activate electrical effect. We want him to waste that counter trap uh, so he can go into a, a link play, get rid of the Baguska, and then Yazi him into oblivion. That was the game plan. He didn't use that. He did use Phantasme, uh, so he didn't use anything else. He used Phantasme. In that, now he has two hand traps in his hand, plus a Phantasme and a card in hand, and we can't target Baguska with any link cards, like a Cerberus, or anything like that, because Phantasme will stop it. So we gotta play uh, really smart here, and Baguska, uh, it does, Phantasme does get over Baguska, so he still gets his draw. This has Corona Grass Special, also gets over Baguska, the activated in hand. Now you really gotta think hard here. Uh, we get Hamster, uh, we pop, we wanna draw something really nice with Electrum. We also we use Jackal Effect to special Cerberus. Unfortunately, we don't draw a low scale. It's okay. The great game plan here is not the Pendulum Summit at the moment. Anyways, we'll search. We'll get a scale later. Now, now we go into Unicorn with Cerberus and, and uh, Electro. There are some take backs, but they're not really take backs. They're more so like uh, I was telling Farfa. I was on his Discord as he was dueling. We're on his stream. Check out Farfa channel if you haven't already. It's an amazing channel. And yeah, we're, we're, I'm telling him to go through the motion, so if we do a little tape, it's okay. Because uh, at the end of the day, I'm the captain here, and uh, whatever I say goes when it comes to pendulum matches. So we put a Nightmare Unicorn over there, not to use its effect because it'll get negated by the counter trap, and we'll use the link, we'll lose the Unicorn, but literally just to attack into Baguska. 
That's it. Oh, uh, but obviously before we uh, did anything, we use Electrum to pop the ravine to get Hamster back to our hand. Uh, so now we're going to use Unicorn. Like I said, uh, there's a lot of stuff. We're, we're talking on the phone. Like, I'm not talking on the phone. I'm on Discord, all that. So not everything's going to go through as fully planned. Just because we're going through the motions. We got a stream. We're talking to 300 watchers. So the plan was Electrum, pop the ravine, get the Hamster. And the guard was he was cool with it. He was also watching Sparkle streams. So he was totally cool with it. Now, we no, we didn't use our normal summon yet, so we're going to normal Dark Room to negate zero. We was hoping that he was going to negate it, and then we're going to Yazi him into oblivion. Doesn't negate, what do you know, we got scales. We didn't penetrate the summon yet, want to go through everything one by one. We know he's playing Silent Man shit, which means that he has hand traps in his hand. So we got to play it little by little, smart by smart, smart and smart. We activate the Strudo's effect where he uses the counter trap. That's fine. The Strudo's gone, goodbye, my friend, unfortunately. Now we're going to go into Nightmare Unicorn. And go, uh, we're thinking here actually, or don't remember exactly what we did. I think we go into Mermaid, yes. We go into Mermaid, oh, we're thinking, okay. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you have to think here. I think we pendulum summon off the bat, yeah, we pendulum summon, that, that was the best play. We put Hamster in scale, because we do have one Dark Room in the extra deck right now. So when the other Dark Room goes in the extra deck, we get these Hamsters back to add. And like I said, it was, a lot of stuff is lost in translation as we're talking. We're thinking of stuff, we're talking to the Watchers, 300 Watchers, we're uh, thinking of what to do. So it's like, any take back doesn't really count, we're playing as two people. And like talking to the phone, we're not at, at the place like together, watch, like playing at the same time in person. We're literally on the phone talking. We're well, not on the phone, on Discord. So it's okay to take us your stuff back here and here. So we're activate harm harmonizing effect, and he ashes a harmonizing. Unfortunate. Jackal effect in a gate because it has counters from gate zero, the hamster, and Baguska doesn't negate the counters that's on it. And then he's going to Baylor the Jackal. Unfortunate. But what do we have here? Why don't we know this? We played through a uh, Phantasmate. We played through a Veiler. We played through an Ash. We played through a Counter Trap. And we played through a Baguska. Five cards. Five interruptions. And that Baguska really hurt. But we beat over them in smart ways. Very smart ways. Now, look at our board. We have an entire board. And we haven't even a uh, Mermaid combo yet. So what are we going to do here? We already had to enter our battle phase to clear Baguska. So unfortunately, we can't deal with the other monsters. So what we're going to do here is take a big risk. We do have to link those three. We have to link away the, the, uh, the Dark Ones right away. Because we have to use Hamster to add back the Dark Ones to our hand. Because if you saw that big thing play over there, you notice the Hamsters. We're going to add Hamsters in the deck for sure. Especially after seeing the Genius here. Uh, far from added them back in. But Hamster... Uh, is there to add more pluses to your hand, especially if you scale it after you get the, the Dark Ones back. So, we're going to somehow try and come back after going down with five interruptions, Pen God. We're going to have to add back to Dark Worm, Dark Worms, huh? And then we're going to be able to freely go into uh, Nightmare plays and Orcus plays. But in order to link them away, because we didn't have anything else to link, like there's no beneficial thing to link into with the Dark Worms that would help us, other than Rusty. It's unfortunate, because the... Uh, Orca's combo would give us Rusty anyways, but we do we, we just had to, we did what we had to do and now we're gonna have to do a little weird type of Orca's combo, but it's totally okay. So Rusty's gonna get us a Fog Blades and what we do here in this situation is we have the Strudel coming back for next turn So we want we don't need to do too much. All we want to do is set up the Orcus just few Orcus. That's it So we're gonna discard uh, uh, One of the Dark Rooms we got we're gonna get the Nightmare out there We can't put up more negates than the double Fog Blade and the Jackal we can't put up more with how the link zones are. So we're going to simply do is just draw two and use the absolute minimal Orcus engine possible just so we could set it up and uh, have Skeleton engrave for next turn and a Horror engrave or Index so because it come back and it's going to come back with Orcus Nightmare. Uh, so just really just playing smart. Oh yeah, that's what we did. So we brought out Orcus Nightmare because we're going to put back Harp Horror to the deck to save the entire Orcus engine with the exception of drawing two, for next turn. For next turn. Because there's not enough space to do real shenanigans here. And we don't want them to add back Ash for free with uh, Wolf. So what we're going to do here is literally just draw two. That's all we're going to do is draw two. Get a good follow-up out here. Get a good follow-up. What do you know? We got Pen Call. We got Pen Call. We didn't activate a Magician Effect and Scale. And we're going to activate Pen Call for follow-ups. Because we don't want to get negated by Roar. He wanted uh, Farb wanted to get a fang, but that was incorrect in case Gate Zero got popped by Foxy's Grave Effect. So at this point, we have through five negate, he had five interruptions. We put up three interruptions through his his five. We cleared most of the stuff. 
He still has this board, but it's only fine for three interruptions. And we have an amazing follow-up. We have three cards in hand. The whole Orcus engine in the grave. The Strudo in the grave. Fog Blades are going to bring back Gate Zero and a Jackal. And let's see what's going to happen. So now it hits, so we're going to fast forward. Doesn't matter what he does. We don't care about Salaman shit. We're not here to learn Salaman shit. We're here to learn Pendulum. So he's going to do him. And we're just scared of getting OTK. So what we do is we just play safe here. We only play it safe. Uh, we're going to fog play that we just don't want to get OTK. He used Stalio and, ja and Jackal. And Jackal negates the Gazelle he's going to use. I'm just going to keep going here. Uh, he's going to do a lot of... He's going to summon lots of cards here. Uh, Lucky for us, he didn't add even Fox. He's going to play a lot. He has a whole Salaman Grey board set up. Uh, he's going to keep going here. Uh, we just don't want to get OTK. That's all we don't want to ha have to happen. We just do not want to get OTK. He tr attempts to use Fusion of Fire, but he already activated Cir uh, with Sunlight Wolf to add Circle earlier in the turn. So he caught him. He didn't really, he forgot, so it's totally okay. Uh, thank God we got lucky there because he already activated Wolf's Effect. So we're going to go back to the, the game state where it was before, leading us to a lot better situation. He's going to get Roar. He's going to clear our board, but we're not going to lose. That's the important part. We're not going to lose. One thing to note we should have done is when Galatea is linked, it cannot be destroyed by battle. We wanted to trigger our Dark Worm in Grave. So we didn't do it, but we should have demanded a fog blade, get Rusty to point the Galatea. Would have left in both of them surviving, which would have been better. But now if you look at this situation. He's next gonna go in. He's gonna get back to Ash Blossom. He's gonna use Leo to put back to gate zero. Now look at this. The Dark Man Grave is we just went through five interruptions. That's the game plan. You don't need to OTK them on that one turn. Like they set up everything. You don't need to OTK them, put yourself in a position to win <coughs> on your next turn. That's the whole point. <clears throat> you have to OTK them right away. Now look at this. Dark Worm, bring out Gate Zero. Now look at this. We have six cards in hand. We have a Dark Worm on the field. We have a Destrudo and the whole Orcus engine. And a Rusty coming back with the Fog Blade. Like, it's over. It's over. All we're dealing with is two hand traps. No, sorry. One counter trap, one, one hand trap. Like, it's over. You can't do anything. So we're going to Destrudo. To just, he's going to have to counter trap or else he loses. He doesn't because he was just, he's shook. We came back, he was shook. So we'll assume he counter trapped because what he should have done. Then we have six hand traps, or six monsters in our hand, sorry. Pendulum summon, pen everything and win. Like, like do you see that? That's how you come back. So we li literally, at this point, what he should have done is he should have counter trapped the Destrudo. At that point, we literally just put poison in scale, put uh, harmonizing in scale, and literally pen everything and attack and win. We clear his entire board and then put up negates. Like, this is absolutely nuts. Like, and boom, just like that. And then he ashes the Yazi, which obviously should have just counter trapped the Destrudo, but that's totally fine. At this point, we have six cards in hand. Even if he didn't do that, we'd have one left. We would put out the Rusty and we'd put out like uh, XYZ Ken Gorgon to pop another card. And like, that's game. So even if he didn't pop, we won. So we came back from five interruptions. Like, that's what you do. You can't just. Scoop to five interruptions. That doesn't matter. It don't matter, bro. What the hell? You can't just scoop like that. Let them put up the interruptions and you win after that, right? Like, you don't need to OTK them. Like, that's what you, people don't understand. You don't need to OTK against some of the mangrates. Like, they're going to have a bunch of monsters. You don't have to OTK. You don't have to OTK. They don't do shit. Just put up your negates and then OTK on the next turn. So over here, we have a set card that's probably the counter trap. A gazelle in hand and what we assume is a hand trap. We use some pen call first. Uh, to, uh, it's okay. We want to resolve pen call first. Uh, to see if there's an Ash, he uses Counter Trap, totally fine. Because now our Dragon Bean's going to uh, go through, which we really want a low scale, which Dragon Bean's going to get us. So at this point, he didn't Ash the Pen Call, which means he had no Ash. Now the only card left to stop Dragon Bean is Ghost Ogre. If Ravine goes through, we win the game. So we Ravine, send Gazer, there's no Ogre, we win. We win. It's that simple. Uh, Dark Room, get Gate Zero. There's an infinite amount of ways we can OTK at this point. But we're going to Boral Sword him into Oblivion, and making sure we have Nightmare. Now, uh, a card in hand to use... Uh, uh, the Nightmare Mermaid's effect. We go into Electrum. At this point, he didn't Ogre the Ravine. He didn't Ash the Pen Call or the Ravine. There's no Ogre. So, we're, of course, we're going to use his effect. We hope the Veiler comes through. There's no Veiler. He has no Hand Trap. We're lit. He bricked a little bit. But, again, let's sell the Mangrids for you. Like, this is... Uh, they're going to have one kind of... Really, unless they hard draw a hand, a hand Trap, they only have one Negate. That's what I mean. Like, sell the Mang Mangrid, they only have one Negate uh, if, unless they hard draw a Negate or a Hand Trap. So he didn't hard draw one. That's normal. Like, it's normal. He's not going to hard draw one. So at this point, we need a card in our hand after our pen summon. So what we do is we pop the chronograph uh, to get Harmo to get a card. Well, it didn't matter at that point. 
We should have just popped the ravine to be honest. Same thing. It doesn't matter. Now we go into the Nightmare Unicorn. Not using it as a fact. We go into the Mermaid. Simply because we just want the Orca's engine. And it's like OTK. Like you're playing Orca's punch up OTK so easily. And this is exactly why. You have to use the Roar on the pen call, right? And just like that. Our Electro Resolve. Uh, through the one negate that they always have. Or two if they hard draw one. Or three if they hard draw one. Or five like we dealt with in the first hand. And now we're going to Orca's combo. And Boral sort him into Oblivion. And that's the deck for you guys. Like... And there's something cool here, Summon Sword, because we already, we already went through one in the hand, so it's like drawing one of the Orcus cards makes your combo even easier. So now, instead of bringing out the Wand with Sword, we're going to bring out a Destrudo, which is another really cool thing you can do. And we just keep going here, like big brain plays here. And we go with the Boral Sword, and he can't do anything about it, and we just win. Like, we, we, this is more than the 15,000 damage. So, boom, there you go, there you have it, that's game. Like, there's nothing you can do. We went, we 2 0 this guy. He went first both games. The first turn, first turn, he had five interruptions. Oh, we busted. Second, uh, second game, we have uh, one interruption, which is honestly gonna happen a lot for Salamangri. They have to hard draw a hand trap for a second interruption. And if they don't hard draw a hand trap, they only have one interruption. And even if he did draw another hand trap, look at our hand. Like, we we're nice. We won anyways. Like, if you drew a Valor and Electrum got Valor, it didn't matter at all. Like, we still cleared his entire board. And just like that, we won. He drew a Fusion of Fire. That was the other card in his hand. And we won. Obviously, no shit. So we cleared the Salaman Great board without an issue. There was no doubt in our minds. Most players would have scooped the Baguska, Triple Hand Trap, and a Counter Trap. But we didn't We didn't do that. We didn't give up. Because you can't give up a Pendulum. It's the best deck. So if you ever want to look back and think, how am I going to clear Salaman shit board? Go back to this video at the very first uh, duel of this match. And see as we absolutely pick him apart and destroy him. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.